Do you think, by fielding your own candidates in the general election, there is every chance you could end up destroying the one thing that you set out to achieve, Brexit? No, absolutely not. And I'll tell you why. Uh, the Brexit Party, and UKIP was rather similar before it, the Brexit Party in East Anglia, in the south of England, the southwest of England, the fringes of London, takes more votes from the Conservatives than it takes from Labour by a long, long way. But as soon as you get to the Midlands, go up to the north or perhaps to the valleys of South Wales, the picture is the other way round. Look at Peterborough. 2015, in this city, UKIP got a big vote. The Conservative won. He was a Eurosceptic Conservative, Stuart Jackson. In 2017, UKIP said, we won't stand against Stuart Jackson. We don't want to split the vote. And guess what? A large number of voters who voted UKIP went back to the Labour Party and Labour won the seat, not the Conservatives. And this is because there are five million Labour Leave voters out there in this country, and many of them wouldn't vote Conservative if you paid them. That's for historical reasons and cultural reasons. So no, I've stood candidates down against the Conservative Party, not an easy thing to do, not wholly popular in my own party thing to do. I did it because Boris went much further than that deal in Brussels. He said, we will not have alignment with the EU rules. We'll go for a Canada-style trade deal. Now, a promise is one thing, and Boris is very good at making promises. Do you trust that promise? Uh, well, look, Boris is good at making promises and not always keeping them, but it would have been madness, I think, to stand against the government of the day if they're effectively saying the same thing that you are. So what we will now do is target Labour seats. We need to get a Brexit Party voice in the House of Commons to hold him to those promises. And in other seats, where the Conservatives are the challengers to Labour, actually, the Labour vote we get in those constituencies will, in fact, in many ways, make it easier for Boris Johnson. David Cameron would not have had a majority in 2015 if it hadn't been for the impact of the Brexit 4 million votes. And when you hear national pollsters who say, well, the Brexit party take 10 Conservative votes for every six Labour votes, that may be the national picture, but the regional differences and the seat differences are enormous. So no, I'm convinced this is the right strategy. I want Brexit to happen. I think it's vital for our democracy that that referendum result is upheld. But by attacking Labour, not only will we get Brexit, but I hope we're going to get the right Brexit.